लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू लॉ चर्चा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस भारतीय साक्ष अधिनियम दैट इज बी एस ए टू इज द न्यू लॉ एनेक्टेड टू रिप्लेस द एग्जिस्टिंग लॉ ऑफ एविडेंस इन इंडिया इट रिप्लेस इज द इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट एटीन विच वॉज एनेक्टेड वेन इंडिया वॉज अंडर द ब्रिटिश रूल After independence, most of the laws in India that existed under the British rule were adopted as it is because Indian judicial system was established on the lines of the British system. Even the Constitution of India has many articles that are adopted from the Government of India Act, nineteen thirty-five. At the prevailing time, most of the laws were continued. as they existed under the british rule on 11th august 2023 the bharatiya saksha bill 2023 was introduced in the lok sabha there were some recommendations to the bill made by the standing committee on home affairs therefore the existing bill was withdrawn and a new bill was introduced as per the objects and reasons the intent behind replacing the indian evidence act with the bharatiya saksha adhiniyam is that the compre- a comprehensive review of criminal laws is called for considering the experience of seven decades of indian democracy it further states that existing law does not address to the technological advancement undergone in the country during last few decades it also claims to expand the scope of secondary evidence and puts limit on the facts which are admissible and its certifications as such in the courts the bsa came into force with effect from 1st july 2024 with its coming into force the indian evidence act 1872 stands repealed though as contemplated by the section 170 of the bsa the application of bsa is prospective thus for the trial inquiry investigation proceeding or appeal pending prior to july 2024 the indian evidence act 1872 would apply it is pertinent that though the structure of the indian judicial system was made on the same lines of the british system as i mentioned earlier while enacting the indian evidence act wants of india as a country were sought to be considered this is apparent from the select committee's report dated 31st march 1871 Uh, to which the evidence bill was referred it would be apposite to note that the members of the select committee had opined uh, that the draft prepared by the indian law commissioners was not suited to the wants of the country there were other suggestions in the select committee's report later as per the second report of the select committee dated 30th january 1872 changes Uh, were recommended to the evidence bill similar to the select committee's opinion that they required draft to suit the want of the country the intent of legislating bsa appears to be that of considering uh, the want of the country post independence this is apparent from the statements on uh, statements of objects and reasons of the act in addition to noting that the experience of seven decades of indian democracy calls for a comprehensive review of the criminal laws the legislature has also stated that laws should be adopted in accordance with the contemporary needs and aspirations of the people the legislature has further expressed that existing law does not address the technological advancement undergone in the country during the last few decades while the intent under the new enactment is to adopt the contemporary needs by and large 
same provisions from the Indian Evidence Act 1872 are incorporated in the BSA. One major change that reflects the want of the country is the name itself, Bharatiya Saksha Adhinyam, which in Hindi trans in which is a Hindi translation of Indian Evidence Act. The BSA adopts same structure of the Indian Evidence Act 1872, there where the act is divided in parts and further into chapters. The Indian Evidence Act was structured into three parts: Part One, relevancy of facts; Part Two, on proof; and Part Three, production and effect of evidence. The BSA has added one extra part in the beginning. Thus, the BSA has four parts. Part one and part two is without any heading. Part three on proof and part four deals with production and effective. Uh, uh, sorry, production and effect of evidence. Though the part one and two in the BSA are without heading, the chapters under those part cover the relevancy of facts uh, that were the provisions uh, under the part one of Indian Evidence Act. 1872 these are further uh, structural changes these are the only structural changes rather in the evidence act further structural changes uh, would be under the interpretation clause the its arrangement uh, in alphabetical order the interpretation clause is renamed as definitions under section 2 of the bsa under the previous enactment the definitions were arranged keeping in view with the common threads of the terms to be defined for instance in previous enactment fact relevant fact in issue are defined one after another because they have a common thread same goes with proved disproved not proved this pattern is broken in the bsa for searching it is better to search a definition alphabetically Though from the reader's perspective, it is better if definitions falling under the same thread are next to one another. The scheme of the evidence law is such that it requires reading of these terms collectively. Be it as may, the definitions are the same. There are not many modifications to the definitions, even. illustrations in the definitions are same as the ones in the old act the old indian evidence act the definitions of the term document undergoes a change considering the object of the bsa to address the advancement in technology thus the terms electronic and digital records are included in the definition of the document there are some consequential changes made in the bsa in comparison to the earlier enactment for instance there are, there was section 22 uh, 22a that specified when oral evidence when oral admissions rather to contents of electronic records is relevant this was inserted due to the enactment of information technology act in the year 2000 the section 20 of bsa corresponding to 22 of the indian evidence act provides when oral admissions as to contents of documents are relevant since the term document was defined and electronic and digital records were included in the, that definition no separate section was required to correspond to section 22a of the indian evidence act uh, 1872 sections with respect to electronic evidence have undergone minor changes if compared with the sections uh, with respect to the electronic evidence in the previous enactment the crucial section that is section 65b under the indian evidence act undergoes some changes the corresponding section 63 of the bsa while explaining the admissibility of electronic records uses the term any communication device in addition to the term computer as the devices used in technology for storing purpose and those can be deemed to be a document usually computer has a very broad meaning a computer generally would include most of the devices including the communication device for instance even a mobile is regarded as computer 
though there is no explanation why this change is brought it could be because of the regular use of call detail records that is cdrs as evidence in cases it appears that to avoid limiting the scope of computer or to avoid limiting the scope of process of storing data on computer as the device uh, understood to be uh, as a personal computer or a laptop uh, a phrase otherwise stored recorded or copied is added in the section so otherwise stored recorded or copied is addition to the section this will ensure that storage could be on any type or form of device and not just on a computer or a communication device this could provide wide interpretation a subsection 3 of uh, section 65b undergoes a change to in the new corresponding section certain phrases that are used in uh, its sub clauses are expressed in single terminology the function of storing and processing of information performed by computers in different possible methods was explained in 65b uh, subsection 3 of the previous enactment those methods are referred in the bsa uh, by using some concise terms if it is a single computer uh, performing function then it will be referred as stand alone mode as mentioned in uh, under the clause a of uh, section 63 subsection 1 of bsa combination of computers operating is referred in the section of the previous enactment now it will be referred as computer system similar diff similarly different computers operating in succession is now referred to as computer network the changes with respect to the electronic evidence appear to be outcome of the case law developed over the period of time in electronic evidence and over the last couple of decades the provision of certificate under 65b uh, subsection 4 of the indian evidence act continues under section uh, 63 subsection 4 of the bsa a pertinent addition in the schedule to bsa providing a format of uh, certificate required under section 63 4 uh, is given the common issue of who should provide the certificate appears to have been put to rest there are two certificate formats given in the part a and part b of the schedule the part a certificate is to be filled by the party and the part b certificate is filled by the expert this is in consonance with the requirement to ensure the authenticity and reliability of the electronic evidence further the amendments that were made to previous enactment because of coming into force of the information and technology act 2000 uh, are absorbed in the bsa under relevant sections language of some sections is changed the object appears to be to make it simple for instance the heading of section 12 of the indian evidence act that read as in suits for damages facts tending to enable court to determine amounts are relevant now it reads as facts tending to enable court to determine amount are relevant in suits for damages thereby making it easier to read basically some more changes can be noticed with respect to structure of section the subsections were incorporated by assigning numbers to the previous enactment in bsa this is changed in some sections by assigning alphabets instead of numbers thereby now those subsections have become clauses in those sections instead of subsections as an example uh, refer reference may be had to section 32 of the indian evidence act 1872 commonly known uh, in criminal law as section with respect to dying declaration uh, it had eight subsections that listed the categorization of how and under what circumstances the statements by a person who is dead or cannot be found are made these eight subsections are incorporated verbatim but in form of clauses a to h to section 26 of the bsa 
such uh, change with respect to converting subsections into subclauses is is not made everywhere uh, does section 9 of the bsa which corresponds to section 11 of the previous enactment keeps the subsections as same as they were the structural changes are also visible in section 22 of the bsa which corresponds to section 24 of the indian evidence act the section under previous enactment did not have proviso to it uh, two separate sections that is section 20 Uh, 8 and 29 are converted into separate provisions so sorry separate provisos to section 22 of the bsa such exercise is carried throughout the thread of uh, thread of confession possibly to make it more arranged simple and consistent to the overall style of drafting similar style of drafting is adopted in a regard with some other sections also uh, there is no Uh, much there is not much change to the content of the earlier section barring some minor changes like addition to word coercion in section 22 of bsa thus apart from inducement threat or promise a confession caused by coercion also becomes relevant thereby the scope of this section is widened some sections addressing to the same thread of topic are put under one heading and section they are further arranged as subsections thus the thread with respect to leading questions which in the previous enactment was spread over sections 141 to 143 is now covered into single section 146 in bsa the content of section 146 of bsa is verbatim incorporated from section 141 to 143 of the previous enactment there are more noticeable grammatical and punctuation related changes for instance section 45 of the indian evidence act 1872 which relates to expert evidence provided for the facts relevant for the court to form an opinion it it also defines who is an expert hence it used a separate statement to depict the meaning of expert culled out from the first sentence of the section in bsa section 39 that corresponds to section 45 of the indian evidence act while the content is the is verbatim the same the two sentences are joined by adding a conjunction keeping uh, with the objective keeping with the objective that laws should be adopted in accordance with the contemporary needs and aspirations of the people the bsa does away with certain provisions that were relevant only to the united kingdom for instance bsa does not have any section corresponding to section 82 of the previous enactment which was with respect to the presumption as to document admissible in england since india has become independent this provision has no significance hence such provisions are done away uh, with the enforcement of bsa furthermore the definition of india does not find place in the bsa in the previous enactment india was defined prior to independence indian evidence act defined states later in year 1951 uh, that definition was substituted by definition of india the colonial terms like barristers and attorney are done away with in the bsa section 126 of the evidence act was related to professional communication there is protection given to the communication between an advocate and his client section 126 used the term barristers attorney pleader or wakil instead the bsa in section 132 which corresponds to section 126 of the old act uses the word advocate this seems to have uh, been done in consonance with section 29 of the advocates act which states that there shall be only one class of persons entitled to practice law 
namely advocate. No doubt to some extent the BSA has brought changes to the evidence law in India but majorly the provisions of Indian Evidence Act 1972 are insinuated in the BSA. Keeping a, the foundation of the evidence law unaffected and maintaining the spirit envisaged by the previous law. So with this we are done with the discussion on BSA. Thank you. Namaste.